Hello and welcome to the video, guys. It is Jean-Jacques from Self-Built Systems. And today we are simply going to discuss how not to be too salesy, right? How not to, you know, tap into your inner slimy salesman as a online fitness coach. And there are a few, a few things that we will go over today. And the main thing is explaining, you know, this concept of positive pipeline equity over negative pipeline equity. So you might be thinking, well, how do I create a no or a no slimy salesman effect, right? In your, um, in your ask, right? Because no one, no one likes to, uh, be sale, like sell to straight off the bat, right? No one likes that slimy sell, like salesman effect. So basically it's rather simple when you understand how people think about, um, a salesman, right? So for an example, if all you are doing is, you know, you're, you're consistently pitching your thing and you're not providing some sort of value that actually makes a difference in someone's life, then that is the main thing that's going to put you like in, uh, in like off balance of, of your, your, your giving your ask, right? Because there is a fine line between giving and asking. So for an example, this is what creates negative pipeline equity. If you, if you are, in a disbalance, right? So here's an example. It, it, it would sound something like this, right? If you have enough value driven content that you put out for free that people can actually use. And that piece of content is what makes a difference in their lives. It actually makes a difference in their lives and you keep your promises and you basically deliver on your promises. That is what will keep the needle moving forward. Right? So for an example, it might sound like this. It goes, give, 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 maybe one more give, and then ask, give, ask, give, right? So point being is that this is a principle I, I learned from Alex Hormozzi, but it the, it's, it's simply this, that in the long run, when you do something today, let's say it's Sunday, in the long run, when you do something for someone, they will simply forget, right? People have a very short-term memory when it comes to you helping them with something because it could sound something like this. Today, you're helping, you, you help someone make an extra $5,000 tomorrow, that person could be like, uh, or let's say two months from now, that person could be like, yeah, you know what? I could have figured this out myself. You know, if I just tried a little bit harder, did something for a little bit longer, I, I could have probably figured it out, figured this out myself, right? That inner ego would be talking, right? So basically at the end of the day, that's why we need to stay on top of our prospects minds, right? We need to consistently be on top of their mind provide value to them. And that's why volume is like important when it comes to value delivery. But I would rather say that efficiency, if without the efficiency, like in the value that you put out, if it's, if it's regurgitated, if it doesn't actually make a difference in someone's life, then you simply don't have any ammunition. You, you kind of shooting blanks, right? Because at the end of the day, someone might've seen it before or, um, it's something that's really common and that will shoot you in the foot. It will hold you back, right? So make promises, deliver on the promises and, you know, repeat, do the work. Um, so um, I have here a self-built systems value measuring stick. We call this the, the, the measuring stick, right? So basically, as you can see, it's in the shape of, a, of, of that hockey stick curve, right? What is important to remember is that your, every time you give value, right? that value will compound. And what you want to do essentially is the amount of value that you give, you want to do it long enough, um, but the value must be on a level that it actually is something actionable. It actually is something that someone can be like, oh, you know, like that's actually cool. I can take that. I can take that piece that, you know, Jay told me and I can put that right to work and it actually made a difference in my life, right? It's not just a piece of, um, a quote or something, you know, because a lot anyone can just put out a quote and say something about hard work, right? We all know that. So point being is that you want the, the way you get this hockey stiff curve to go to the upside and not to the downside is simply by being consistent and having rules around your content production and the level of value that you want to be putting out, right? Um, if you find something valuable, many times. Other people will also find it valuable, but then you will also have to be able to know that, okay, um, are you writing a trend 
or are you just simply hopping onto something that has died? But point being is that the compounding effect of your value delivery each and every single week, week in and week out, is what will create that hockey stiff curve. But then you, because that's when you get that give, 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 ask, give. And then what happens is that you build up more leverage because you have built up some IOUs because you've actually helped someone uh, for free, make you made a difference in their life for free. This also builds credibility within you, within your space, right? Within your sub niche, within uh, the fitness space where you are, it builds that sense of credibility, and people now start to trust you more because you are helping them for free on a consistent basis. And that's why um, content marketing is so powerful because it is it's free, right? And if you have a proven strategy around how to execute, then you simply um, can focus on value delivery and keeping your promises. So here's a, a little, um, I would say schedule that you can go through from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Sunday, right? So on Monday, you can produce like one to two stories, give or take, or you can do three, doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, stories is powerful because of like this one reason here, people will watch you, whether they love you or hate you, they will always be watching because there's this thing about human nature that curiosity is what drives certain actions within people, right? So if whether you're doing better than someone or whether you are, you know, doing worse than someone, it does really not matter because at the end of the day, people will keep watching you. They will watch your every single move. And that that's why it's important. And we have a we have a principle at self build that says, you know, um, don't show people uh, what your next move is, you know, just do the work, you know, let your work do the talking. So um, what is important here is that it's it, on Monday, it could be something motivational, you know, something that you learned and something that has have been of interest to you and something you feel that can uh, make a difference in someone else's life. So you simply share it. Could be a book, could be a piece out of a book, could be a uh, quote. Um, uh, quotes are a little bit saturated, but it could still mean something to someone when it comes from someone with credibility, right? So the thing is here, um, then you need to focus uh, rolling to Tuesday, right? Then we can focus on like a value driven piece of content uh, with without a CTA, purely educational, right? This could be a story about a post letting people know that it's definitely something that they should know or read or at least bring some sort of awareness to them, right? Um, on Wednesday, you can follow the self built Systems content, co content matrix. And then w the content matrix, uh, one example of what is inside of the content ma matrix is simply split like this, right? There is one scenario where you can um, where you can tell a story of something that has happened in your day. And I will give an example uh, down below, but I'm going to quickly give you this example. Let's say you had a, you had a can of rain um, and, you know, after drinking the rain, you had a crash. Or, or you had something, something you drank a monster or something, and then you had a crash, and then you realized, hey, the value of X, Y, and Z, and whatever rest, and you, you hook it to a story, you take them through the story, and then at the end of the day, you tickle their pain points, and then like you give them the answer, right? You give them because you 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 tickle the problem, and then at the end of the day, you give them the answer, the solution, right? That's one of the the elements within the self built systems content matrix. But point being here is. Um, that people love stories. No one loves, um, like there's nothing, that, there's little like that people love more than a great story, right? Everyone loves a great story. So Thursday, we, we give them a value driven piece of motivational, right? This could be post like on a story, um, example, a lesson that you have learned, or let's say for an example, you have been struggling to get your bench press up, right? Um, or you've been struggling to get past a 120 kg squat, 150 kg squat, but then there was one small thing you changed because someone gave you this piece of advice and that changed the whole game for you, right? Just sharing that with someone um, and making a post about it, talking about it, that builds credibility, that shows people that you're working on yourself and there will be people that can relate to that. I can guarantee you that. Um, if there are many people on different levels looking to connect with different people that they have some sort of relatability on, right? It may, and maybe on many different levels. So now we look at Friday, we can have like a value driven story post depending on the audience or, you know, a lot of people go out of their, um, go out with their friends. Uh, maybe you can talk about uh, the balance between having friends and working or, you know, the, going to the gym 
um, how you should find some sort of a balance. You always hook these type of things on experience that you're currently experiencing, right? You might be that guy that goes to the gym seven days a week, but you want to educate people. Or, you know, you want to be relatable. Um, because I have given this example before, if you're just in shape 24 seven, that might even chase some people away, right? Because people want someone that they can relate to when it comes to lifestyle coaching or something, um, or prep coaching, your in season, off season type of effect, right? So all these things are important. So now let's say for an example, Saturday, you follow the content, um, um, matrix, self system content matrix. And I'm going to give you this example right now, because I've already spoke about this. So I'm not going to go through that again. So the example uh, goes as follows. So here's an example that gives, uh, well, here's an example uh, from a guy maybe at your gym, right? Um, or, or a girl, whatever, male, female situation. Um, and you basically, you see this guy quite often at the gym, right? Um, object that's always there. And then basically you're talking to this guy, you have that gym bro talk and you hear, you know, bro, how did you get those arms, bro? You know, man, tell me. Um, what type of protein shake do you use, man? It seems like it's working, man. Tell me, maybe I should go buy it. Um, and then, you know, you um, you wrap it in an educational story. For an example, you you say, okay, today I learned the value of pure work ethic. Again, I got reminded, right? Um, because there's this gentleman at my gym and he's always, you know, he's always there. Uh, he's always there you know, talking to everyone and always wants to know what the newest thing is on the market, what the newest gimmick is that he can try to get those 50 inch arms, right? But, you know, um, at the end of the day, what I realized is that nothing else really matters but your foundations, right? Without your foundations, you have nothing. Without mastering the discipline, you have, well, without mastering the discipline of the basics, you have nothing, right? Because then you can put on the nuances and all the uh, the fancy work, the 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 you know the fancy stuff you can add that on right um but without the without the base fundamentals uh you basically have nothing right so you 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 educate people you take them through a story um because as i've said people love stories right so um and then sunday we keep a value driven you know talk about the importance maybe of planning your week you know talk about the importance of rest and how much how many hours of sleep you should get something in that line right i'm i'm not here to say you tell you exactly what to post because you will know you know it might be things that you are experiencing it might be things that you have learned so educational entertaining story about your day maybe something you did um a series that you're watching a documentary that you're watching you want to build rapport with the people right so there's another thing it's it's called i think something 100 um uh and i extracted this piece from um from russell brunson but point being is um, you want 100 customers, you want at least, if you can find 100 people that are willing to give you $100, you know, that's willing to give you money, pay you money because they believe in you, because you brought value to them, because you consistently do bring the value, then again, your IOUs grow, right? Um, and that places you in a much larger, well, in a better position to have more authority when it comes to your ask, right? When, it's, when, when it just comes to your ask, you have those 100 people that are willing to give you money. So um, the poll to like, then basically do some polls, right? Bring them into your life because the more you can um, make them a part of what you do, the more that they will feel that they are actually having a one-on-one -on -one with you, right? And the more credibility you will build and the more trust you will build within your market. Super important in the fitness space. I mean, like if you're, if you're a good looking guy and you have some abs and whatever, that can only carry you that far, right? You have to build like rapport. You have to make your audience feel like they're part of your life and again super important thing last thing i will say is go plan your content take friday take saturday plan you know write some copy plan write the copy before you do the stuff even sometimes i do that so plan it out right and then go out and execute on sunday right because then you just bulk your content right and then at the end of the day you have all of this content that you can work with Maybe you have already, you have written some pieces of content. Maybe you work with someone that helps you because um, that's definitely something we can help you with, uh, just by the way. Um, but point being is that um, you, you, you wrap that around you, you, bunt, like you, you batch your content and you simply then have your pieces that are ready to post when it comes, I don't know, when you maybe post six o'clock at night, right? But you don't want to be that guy that 
comes time for you to post and you'd be like, yeah, let me go, let me go get a quote, bro. You know, let me, let me slap this quote on there. And, you know, let me talk about the importance of hard work. And you want to be like, you want to be structured in the, in a way that you, you know, that you're ready. Right. So that also, that leaves you with more mental capital because now you know that you're ready and you're not just sucking something out of your thumb. So guys, um, this has been Triple J and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.